The creative industry made a huge impact on the global GDP in 2020, contributing almost $3 trillion. With the rise of digital technology, there are now awesome opportunities for content production, distribution, and monetization. This set the tone of the Act of Technology Lagos 5.0 conference, where influential individuals from the creative and tech space gathered to discuss the challenges and the exciting opportunities in the digital and creative industry. The Act of Technology Lagos, which held at the landmark event center, Lekki Lagos, as one of Nigeria's biggest tech ecosystem events, focused its fifth edition of the conference on exploring the symbiotic relationship between technology and creativity. Governor Babaji De Somolu kicked off the Act of Technology Lagos 5.0 conference, focusing on the creative economy and a digital Lagos, he shared his excitement to collaborate to create Kalbulanyal Lagos Film City and Del York International Group, an investment of $100 million to boost innovation and talent in the creative industry. Um, we're, we're pushing to ensure that before the end of our administration, you know, we'll begin to see a lot of verticals there and it can become something um, that will be useful for us. Um, we're also ensuring that we'll have a museum which will commemorate, you know, um, I think Mr. Falayan also showed it. We must be able to depict the history behind Nollywood, how it all started, you know, and, and we must be able to be able to showcase that we didn't get here just in one day. So the, the, the city will have all of the trappings, you know, where you can have commercial real estate engagement and all of it. My challenge to all of you is to be able to work with us so that we can move from these paltry numbers of 60 and 70 startups and this small amount that is less than a million, we can indeed grow this in leaps and bounds. Prominent players in the Nigeria tech ecosystem as well as notable film producers and actors emphasize the importance of collaboration in the state to drive and empower youth, ultimately boosting the economy. I want to challenge each and every one of us here today that we shouldn't see these events as just an opportunity to gather, to celebrate, but we should see it as a call to action, an opportunity for us to bind together. Again, remembering that Lagos is Lagos and Lagos is great because there's an ecosystem of creativity that thrives in this city. Together, we try and carve a way for young people in the ecosystem to build ideas, to build things of value for the economy, and to drive the innovation ecosystem to heights previously not known. I would like to say a big thank you to the team and the brains behind uh, this innovation. I don't think I've seen people gathered, I mean, this number of people gathered for a good cause. As we grow and uh, really take the stage from a creative perspective, one is just the fact that, um, you know, we're increasingly able to share our culture and our diversity with the rest of the world. And also, with the advent of a lot of technology tools, also being able to monetize that talent and that creative content. In order to boost the creative, uh, create uh, economy and accelerate the digital transformation for Lagos, collaboration of stakeholders from different industries need to be strengthened. The conference featured exhibition showcase and panel sections that explore topics like leveraging social media, combating privacy, monetization, internet connectivity and infrastructure. One of the key things we need to actually do is to investigate uh, what value the average Nigeria places on a work of arts. From a cultural perspective, uh, for, for, for decades the people used intellectual properties like they were doing you a favor. They deployed your work and expected you to, to be grateful to them for deploying your work. Um, and, and then when we come to the, the, the process of packaging, presentation and sale and pricing, we've gone through this question where 
um, because there are piracy issues we have been unable to tackle as an, as, as an ecosystem, as an industry. Uh, a lot of stakeholders believe that the, the best way to go about it is to devalue the content by reducing the price. Technology and, you know, thinking outside of the box can help. One of the things that I was thinking that could definitely help the creative sector is blockchain, right? And really helping maybe government see some of the ways that we can implement blockchain in keeping and making sure that, you know, creative works are properly monetized. Capacity and financial capacity to do distribution was a big problem. Now technology has totally changed everything. The nexus of technology and creativity, because really what we need are more audio maps and more domestic platforms than digital, who are owned by us, operated by us, and understand the culture. The issue of value is incredibly important because if you don't see value in yourself, it is impossible for you to invest in yourself. So what we are happy about today is that places like Lagos State Government, the federal government with the Ministry of Creative Economy are beginning to understand that this sector is the sector that defines the future of nations. Among the four breakout sections, the digital wave powering creative innovation in Africa, Creative 2030, envisioning the next decade for Lagos creative economy, among others. Attendees had the opportunity to share the impact of the creative economy on the digital ecosystem, as well as the significance of the event. It's important to have gatherings like this where like minds come together to chart a course for the future, especially uh, with uh, the digital economy and uh, technology and creative industry. Um, All about is how can the innovators, how can the creators, how can the um, style and fashion industry, how can the tech industry, how can is and all that. So that's why, you know, Nego State is only and I tell you, it can only be bigger. I mean, it's very significant. I mean, Nigeria is at a point of transitioning. We've got a very large youthful population and there's a need to actually get them engaged. Now, putting this invest together is actually a medium uh, whereby we can give those young Nigerians an opportunity to express themselves, develop their skills and also... So, in the long run, the belief is that as we bring much program like this, we can begin to develop the economy. Uh, as at 2022, there was a report that says the total value of digital a team of people and things that can actually make a significant impact in the economy as a whole. So please, let's execute what we say we will do. And as it focuses on that, I'm sure we'll achieve the results we needed over the next four years. Events happening today is very good. And again, it's also good Lagos State is getting into it. It's not the first time, it's the fifth edition. They came on it very, very, I say early, but not early enough, but it's good they are also in it. They've done so well with movies. They have not done so well with music. That's a fact. So we are also trying to see what they can do to favor music, Lagos State. Because musicians all over, all over Nigeria, Lagos is the capital. You could be in Jos, Enugu, Kano, Kaduna, until you come to Lagos, until you blow out of Lagos, then yeah, you know, <laughs> Lagos is the main thing. It's good the Lagos State government is getting involved. As you know, with the access to internet, internet penetration increasing, mobile uh, density increasing, people having access to mobile phones, you can create content on the go. What is now important is being able to create that content in a way that the global community will be able to consume. It's one of the best organized conferences I've, I've ever been to or spoke at. Um, it's an amazing space, you know, amazing exhibitionists and um, uh, amazing panelists. Uh, obviously, Governor was here, so it was amazing to see him speak and talk about all the great plans and a great framework that they're trying to build here in, in the city of Lagos and the state of Lagos. So uh, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to, to be a part of it. I think it's extremely important to have events like this where people can get together and collaborate, create. Um, you know, they they were talking about how they want to build the framework of the creative economy in the first keynote, and I, I told I told them that it was an amazing plan 
uh, and it's it's perfect, and I think it'll work out. It's going to help not only creatives in Nigeria, but also West Africa, and also just people who like to watch shows and listen to music, so incredible. The highlight of the event is a Tech Ecosystem Gala and Award Night. It recognized startups for their outstanding contribution to the world. From social innovation awards to innovation and creative award, Tech Personality of the Year, and the event was filled with well-deserved recognition and cash prizes to those who pitched at the AOT 5.0 D-Row. The Act of Technology Lagos 5.0 Conference brings together government officials, industry leaders, academics, and civil society to discuss the impact of technology on the development of the city. It's events like this that foster collaboration and drive innovation. For more on well-researched and balanced stories, events and interviews across business, tech innovation and lifestyle, please like, share and subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash Network.